Hey guys, and welcome to day two of Inktober. This drawing in particular actually has a little meaning behind it, although I'm pretty sure you can tell uh, it's kind of straightforward. The prompt word was mindless, and this was definitely how I would describe myself for the last month or so. Just to catch everyone up to speed, I've been trying to move back down to part-time at my current job so that I can pursue drawing and making art, you know, as a career, and unfortunately it's taken a bit longer than expected. Uh, there were some other pieces that needed to fall into place first before I could even move down, which I understood and I was okay with. Um, as time went on though, my urge to create all of the ideas that were, you know, in my head or just finish art that I had already started at home, it just began to just uh, grow and make itself a little more assertive, I, I guess. And uh, because I was still working my full-time hours, I could only really devote uh, one hour a night to just art and drawing. And for me, that just wasn't enough. Uh, and eventually, some other factors came into play as well at my job, and it it led me to uh, wait over a little over a month uh, before even getting uh, my part-time status or even my hours. So I had been waiting and waiting, uh, just without any sort of word of when it was going to happen, if it was still happening, and that just kind of got to me over time. So as you can imagine, I had pretty much checked out mentally and began to get more impatient for my part-time hours. Um, so when I would go into work, I felt like I was on autopilot, just kind of, just like a robot, putting in the hours, just doing the job. You know, talking to customers, just cutting, just kind of uh, putting on a, a facade, just to get through the day until I could go home, relax, and work on my art. I will confess to you um, that due to my shift in focus from work to art, my work e my um, work ethic hasn't been the best. Um, it's just, you know, I ha I hate to admit it, but I want to be honest. It's just, I'm, I'm more, I want to devote more time to my art and to getting that to be a more stable source of income for me because that's what I love to do. And this topic is really important to me because this isn't the first time I felt this way at a job before. And what got me through those times were watching videos of other artists talking about the same thing, just wanting to pursue their dreams or how they went about it. Um, hearing what they were going through and how they felt made me realize that I wasn't alone. I believe that this is something that not only artists go through, but everyone does. Uh, no matter where you are, um, you know, probably at some point in your life, I think we're all just sort of taught from a very young age to go to school, get a good job, you know, make enough money to buy a house, you know, there's, there's steps, there's, you know, you kind of have to go through these, these steps of life, I guess, or like these, um, these like little checkpoints, I guess, through life, you know, and, uh, it, it, it's almost always about the, um, like the money aspect, like you want to be successful, like you want, um, you want to make enough money to to live, you know, a comfortable life and, and things like that. And a lot of people, they, they don't get to really pursue their dreams because of that. Sometimes it can feel impossible to break away from the status quo and pursue what you love. As I'm recording this right now, um, I've only just begun my art journey and I don't have much of a following, and as of right now, I haven't made any money with my art online, 
but in contrast to that, um, to anyone listening, we all have to start somewhere. And if you feel like right now isn't a good time for you to pursue your dreams, then don't worry about it. Um, I feel like there will come a time when if you're still very passionate about what it is that you want to do and you know what you want to do uh, and you and you just don't feel like it's the right time, there will come a time when you'll just know. That's what happened to me recently. Um, I just wanted to put this little video out there in hopes that someone who may feel lost or maybe uncertain, uh, you find it and I just want to say to them that you're doing great. Just follow your gut. Uh, work really hard and just don't give up on your dreams, you know? Um, I think that's all I have to say for right now. I know this video was a bit deeper than uh, than my last one. Uh, it just this, this word in particular just held a lot of I don't want to, well, I don't know if I want to say a lot of meaning, but it just resonated with me a lot with how I was feeling, and it just brought up those old memories of how I, how I used to feel way back when, when I, when I was just, you know, first playing with the idea of even, um, trying to do art as like a serious thing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. So, bye guys!